Hey, this is Tusky, and we're looking at the top four best platform saddle builds. So, I'll start on the first one, which is probably the least cool, like the, the boringest, which is just the ordinary base, which can be used as a portal way to build stuff and live in for a little and teleport to using a bed. Okay, so out the front we've got railings, which can be used to put weapons up and shoot down at things that are, like, players and creatures that are attacking and help you can use it to help defend your paraser and so inside as you obviously we've got a bed because it can be used to travel to this base if you die uh, we've got a storage box which has 15 slots which you can store basic items in we've got a refining forge which will be useful for building types of weaponry because uh, now metal is like a really useful material, and since and we've obviously got a smithy because it's one of probably the most used crafting station in the game until you get a fabricator. We have the mortar and pestle for basic things like gunpowder and narcotics. So that's the inside. As you see, it's pretty cramped because of how much stuff we're fitting in here. But because of the building limits on Parasurs of only 32. Uh, like parts, anything, everything counts on it, and only 32 of them being allowed. That means we couldn't actually put much in here. Oh, we couldn't. We couldn't actually build a big area for the base. But upstairs, we've got a railing to stop you from falling off, and we also have a ballista. The ballista can be used as like a way to defend your base if you're being attacked. The one problem is offline raiders can still get you because you actually have no automated turrets you can build on these because of one of the patches they added in they removed the ability to um, build auto turrets on platform saddles this is because people would put them on quits is, which are the big birds you can see some over there and um, if you put them on then they just fly around and kill everyone's dinos and, the, and other players by just flying past without having to try. So now they've made it so you can just only use automated, uh, you can only use player controlled turrets. And I actually, oh, I actually think that is better than what they had before because it could be exploited really easily. But also it's the problem where you can't defend your base when you're offline on a platform saddle. So we'll move on to the next le uh, boring one. Well, the, it's not really boring, but yeah, the next least, the uh, most boring one. Um, <laughs> and as you see, we've got the same lookout, and it actually looks very simil similar to the portable base, but it actually has a few differences. So first of all, there's a cage, which is probably the most obvious, and it can just be used to put small diners in that aren't tamed and other players. So with... Um, Actually, with this base and all these bases, actually, you should probably put something like a Trinidon or an Argentavis on it because it can be used to um, help get you off if uh, and like go out and explore places while not having to take a slow creature with you. There's also one problem with these bases. They don't have an exit which doesn't involve jumping off because they're, if you put ladders downwards, players can climb up and that gives them an easier way to raid your base or attack this thing and also um, it um, didn't have enough amount like you couldn't build enough stuff on this to add that as well as having everything else you needed on them so that had to be left out so a bird would be very useful for this now inside we have but you might notice windows because since this is used for taming um, the front area can be used to shoot a, like a rifle with trank darts or just a bow with trank darts or trank, uh, arrows sorry and but the windows can also be used you can shoot from all the way around while being safe inside your base or your creatures base <laughs> 
and we've got a storage box just for small things like backup drinks and food to tame creatures with. And then on top we've got a ballista. The ballista would be used only for chain bowlers because chain bowlers are really powerful at taking down um, big creatures because they can like make them stop moving for a bit which means you can get quite a few shots in with trank or trank darts or trank arrows and that is very useful for yeah taming them because even just a little bit of a break could actually save your dino or mean you it can't get away because after enough damage is put out to animals they start running okay so that's about it for the taming uh, platform saddle and so let's move on to the second coolest one this one is used for just like killing creatures and attacking groups of players because I call it the war machine because it is a big thing that has killed that is actually made just to kill things and on the two turrets you've got we've got machine gun turrets which can be used to shoot stuff and machine guns have a high damage output because of the rapid firing bullets and then upstairs we've got a ballista and yeah another storage container down there for storing spare ammo but upstairs we have the ballista which can be used either for bowlers or for chain bowlers or ballista bolts chain bowlers can be used to take down other enemies like alpha creatures and stuff which if you want to kill them and this can or it can also be used for ballista bolts which have a high damage output to creatures okay so let's now move on to the last one so this is my favorite base like personally which is the base destroyer so this one is made to have really high damage output to uh, stone bases and wood bases and under because, so the center one, you might recognize it as the catapult. The catapult has a really high damage against, well, not really high, but I think it does about 700 damage against um, stone structures, which is useful for taking down things like stone doors. And then there's cannons on each side, and behind the cannons they've got storage containers, because cannons can only store one cannonball at a time. And so behind them there's storage containers to put another 15 in. And cannons do about... Cannon, cannons are really useful because they have a really high damage output to stone. Uh, they do about 2,500 per shot, which means with 16 shots you can do a lot of damage. About, yeah, 32,000, which is enough to take down, like... A stone well more than enough to take down stone two stone foundations and so then you've got a wooden storage to store probably more cannonballs because they're the most useful well the most used probably on this and you've got the least amount of them and then on the top I've got a rocket turret which if you're wondering why I didn't just put two rocket turrets on this because that would be way more effective if you had an infinite supply of uh, rockets. I didn't because um, rockets are really, really resource heavy when you're trying to make them. So when I was doing this, um, I was like, this would be like used as one of the last things that you would use, like just in case they've got like a little metal thing inside their base that has all their storage in it. And so it, this wouldn't be very good for raiding metal bases, but anything under stone or stone uh, it would be fine for but you could raid metal bases but you'd only have one weapon good against it and it would take a lot of materials and you're probably just better off using C4 okay so those are my top four best uh, parasol platform saddles that I built and they've each got like their own purpose and you guys so if you like the video, why don't you, I don't know, leave a like, comment, and subscribe, because it really actually helps my channel. So, thanks for watching.